Have you ever thought how structural engineers analyze and design beams? How they make sure the beam design is sufficient to carry the loads of person, furniture, or any other thing? That's where shear force and bending moment diagrams come handy. But here's an intriguing fact. Unlike normal forces and moments, which typically applies externally, shear force and bending moment operate within a beam's interior. But hang on. Before we jump in, if you're new here, we welcome you to I Am Civil Engineer, the YouTube channel. If you love such informative videos, do hit subscribe and bell icon to enjoy latest construction videos. Well, let's start with bending moment. Imagine a beam, like the ones we use in bridges and buildings. When a load is applied to the beam, it creates a bending moment. Think of it like this. When you push down on one end of the beam, the opposite end experiences a bending force. This force is what we call the bending moment. Bending moment is in fact a reaction induced in a structural element when an external force or moment causes it to bend. Beams are the most common structural elements subject to bending moments. To maintain equilibrium, the moment generated by external forces must be counteracted by the couple induced by internal loads resulting in the bending moment. Now let's talk about shear force diagrams. While bending moment describes the bending of a beam, shear force refers to the lateral forces acting perpendicular to the beam's longitudinal axis. To understand shear force, here are some important concepts you should grasp. Let's begin by grasping the concept of axial force, which acts along the centroidal axis of a structural member. When the axial force aligns precisely with the centroid of the member, it's termed concentric loading. Conversely, if the force doesn't align with the centroid, it's referred to as eccentric loading. Shearing forces represent unaligned forces exerting pressure on different parts of a body, pushing them in opposing directions. Conversely, when forces align, they create compression forces. Think of a deck of cards being pushed from opposite ends, causing them to slide. Shear force diagrams show us how these lateral forces vary along the length of the beam. Just like with bending moment, we can calculate shear force at different points along the beam by analyzing the distribution of loads. But why are these diagrams so important? Well, understanding bending moment and shear force is crucial for ensuring the structural integrity of our designs. By accurately predicting how loads will affect a structure, we can prevent catastrophic failures and ensure the safety of everyone who interacts with our buildings and bridges.